The Pure Rock Slim 2 Air Cooler. It's the newest air cooler by Be Quiet. A compact tower design with a Pure Wings 2 92mm fan and rated for 130 watt TDP. After doing some temperature testing on my test PC, the Pure Rock Slim 2 is an impressive air cooler for only $25. I did find one small disappointment that I wasn't expecting in a Be Quiet product. Before we deep dive into today's topic, a disclaimer that this video is not a paid promotion. I bought the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim 2 air cooler with my own money. Be Quiet provided no compensation and or editorial guidance for this video. The affiliate links in the description below provide a small commission from each sale that helps support the channel. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. The Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim 2 is a compact tower air cooler that doesn't interfere with tall ram sticks. Comes with extra fan clips to add a second 92mm fan for a push-pull configuration. At 135mm tall, the Slim 2 is ideal for cases with limited height clearance with small form factor builds. The AMD mounting clip comes pre-installed out of the box. The new AMD mounting clip has two adjustable clip ends. If you have an Intel processor, some assembly is required. Unscrew the AMD mounting clip and screw in the Intel mounting clip. Unlike the Dark Rock Pro air cooler, the Slim 2 doesn't come with a Be Quiet screwdriver. The 130 watt TDP rating makes the Slim 2 suitable for all AMD Ryzen processors at stock speed. My rule for overclocking is to have a cooler with twice the rated TDP of the processor. If you're overclocking a low wattage processor, 65 watts or less, the 130 watt TDP provides plenty of headroom. If you're overclocking a high wattage processor, 95 watts or more, get a larger air cooler or an AIO instead. I'll be comparing the AMD Athlon 3000G stock cooler with the Be Quiet Pure Box M2 tower cooler. My test PC has an AMD Athlon 3000G processor, 8GB of G-Skill 2666MHz RAM, and Ashrock Pro 4 B450 AM4 ATS motherboard. The thermal paste is the Arctic Silver 5. The room temperature while testing was 30 degrees Celsius. The bio setting is the standard fan mode. The stock cooler ran at under 2300 RPMs. The tower cooler ran at under 1300 RPMs. The Cinebench R23 10 minute test ran three times on each cooler. I averaged the three processor temperatures reported in HW Info for each cooler. The stock cooler had an average temperature of 67 degrees Celsius. The tower cooler had an average temperature of 61 degrees Celsius. The tower cooler was 6 degrees lower than the stock cooler. A 10% difference between the two coolers. I'm a big fan, pun intended, of Be Quiet products. When I took the Slim 2 out of the box, I found bent fins along the front of the air cooler. The packaging had no exterior damage, so it wasn't damaged in shipping. This slight damage happened at the factory and wasn't pulled by quality control. From what I've read on the internet, bent fins are not uncommon and be quiet tower air coolers. The bent fins don't affect performance and are hitting underneath the attached fan. For a $25 air cooler, it's not worth the trouble to return or replace a new warranty. Should you get a Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim 2 air cooler? If you need a compact air cooler for $25, you can't go wrong with the Slim 2. That's it for today's show. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.